Hello and welcome back to Centerline Construction Chat. I'm Jeff Satterwhite with Centerline Development and welcome back. Today's topic is going to be insulation. If you notice behind me here, this is a craft faced, craft means paper, is a craft faced insulation. So if you look at this example right here, the craft is actually glued on to this fiberglass bat. This is an expanded fiberglass um, insulation, which is very typical in most residential construction projects. So what this does is this fiberglass expands um, out and so it traps little small air molecules um, which slows down the heat loss or heat gain in any particular structure. And what the craft um, facing does, does a couple things. It gives one more layer to stop the air penetration and it also has a little bit of moisture. See this little black coating is a little bit of moisture barrier on the back of this craft facing. So this is a, a fiberglass bat insulation is what you see back here on the wall. And when you see the R ratings, the R rating depends on how thick of this fiberglass batting it is. So like an R15 is thinner than an R19, an R30 is thicker than an R19. So it goes from like R13 to R19 to um, R25, and then there's R30, and they do make some R38, but that's kind of a rare product. So then the, the R value depends on what the energy rating is or how loss how quickly the heat loss or heat gain is, and it's all driven by the thickness of this bat. So an R30 insulation would have a, a lot more of this material, will be a lot thicker um, and denser than like an R13 or an R15. So if you notice that the craft, there's two sides, there's the craft side, and if you look right over here, there's also the, the back side. So when you put this in the wall, um, the the craft face is towards the heated area. So the, if this was the heated room, but it's not, this is the garage. If this was the heated room, then the craft face would be towards, would be towards the heated area and the unfaced side would be towards the unheated area, uncooled area. Um, and what that does is this is the bigger barrier. This is the barrier for the travel of the heat or the air condition to stop it. So that's the reason the craft face is towards the heated area. Um, they're also, this is, uh, well, the sheet rock will go on top of this wall here, um, which will actually, you know, create this other air stop on the back side of the face, of the, of the craft face. Um, if you walk back right over here, we also use this product here on the back of any area where there's attic space that touches unheated space. So, if we have like an upstairs bonus room or an upstairs loft area that has attic space behind it, we'll put the normal craft, the normal craft face insulation, and then we'll come behind it with this expanded two inch blue foam. It's a very dense product, a very dense uh, poly product, and we will, we will nail and glue this product to the wall. So what that does is that takes an R15 wall, which is the typical residential wall, and turns it into an R25 wall, which dramatically increases your energy efficiency. So for you know, a fairly inexpensive piece of product, this two inch um, styrofoam or blue foam, we can take an R15 wall and turn it into an R25 wall, which dramatically cuts your heating and cooling of your upstairs. I'm Jeff Satterwhite with Centerline Construction Chat. Thank you for joining us on the installation. Uh, part of the blog, please call us at 910-776-0044 or log on to www.gocenterland.com if you have any questions. Thank you very much.